Did you know that even small things matter in the kingdom of God? God's entire creation is very important to him. And there is nothing insignificant about God's creation. Sometimes we might feel smaller and significant, kind of like lizards. This guy's name is Norbert, and he is a bearded dragon. I want y'all to know today that there is nothing in God's creation that's small or insignificant. Did you know that lizards eat insects like mosquitoes or gnats? If it weren't for animals like lizards or spiders, then we'd be overrun with mosquitoes. Think about how awful that would be. God put a lot of thought into his creation. Let's take a moment to think about what we know about lizards. Some lizards are really fast. Most lizards are camouflaged. And some lizards actually lose their tail when you grab it. Now, Norbert here, we said he's a bearded dragon. His natural habitat would be the desert, which means he blends in really well with his natural habitat. Some lizards are green and they like to hang out in bushes or trees and others look more like Norbert and they can hide in the dead leaves and things like that. Now, if God provided ways for lizards to protect themselves, you better believe that God is going to protect you too. Did you know that lizards are mentioned in the Bible? Proverbs chapter 30 verse 28 says that a lizard can be caught in the hand and yet it's found in king's palaces. Have you ever found a lizard trapped in your home before? It is so much fun to watch someone trying to catch a lizard in the house. Lizards really are fast. I remember one time when this guy was a lot smaller than this. He got loose and I didn't think we'd ever catch him. He was running underneath the bed and behind the dresser and all over the place. Next time you see a lizard, or you're trying to catch a lizard, think about the fact that God provides protection for that lizard. And if he's going to protect the lizard, then I can promise you he loves and cares about you, and he's going to provide protection for you too.